Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen? This is Cerismo, and uh, today we are going to learn how to make the laser synth using Reason. Uh, you hear this effect in a lot of EDM nowadays. One of the most popular producers that uses the effect is probably Knife Party. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to be real quick, real efficient with this video. Um, so basically, this is the sound that we're going to make today. All right, so that's what we're going to end up with. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing that you're want, going to want to do is open up a new combinator, and then within that combinator, uh, go ahead and create an instance of Thor synthesizer. Uh, go ahead and show the programmer here. And um, if you don't have it already, go ahead and initialize the patch uh, so that you have a fresh start, a clean slate uh, with this synth. Um, so in the amp envelope here, uh, go ahead and move up the uh, decay and the sustain all the way. That way when you hold down a key, uh, you won't lose any sound. It stays constant. Uh, so at this point, this is what we have. All right, um, let's go ahead and get rid of this low pass filter. Uh, we're not going to need that. Um, change this analog uh, synth to the multi oscillator in oscillator one. Um, and I think these settings are okay as is, so we don't really need to mess with that. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get going with the uh, LFO. Um, so, we'll go ahead and just click both of these key and tempo sync. Um, I think this is a good. Um, a good uh, waveform to get that laser sound. All right, so let's go ahead and get that going. Uh, so LFO1 is going to be the source uh, for these pitch manipulations here. Uh, the destination will be oscillator 1 pitch. And then this is the amount. So if I adjust this, you can hear. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Um, told you it would be quick. So let's go ahead and add some effects to this sucker. Uh, okay, maybe some reverb or some EQ. Uh, I think EQ is good. We'll go ahead and cut those lows, uh, just get rid of any you know, super low frequencies that, that kind of add mud to the mix. Uh, maybe bump up the highs a little bit. A couple dBs might work. <laughs> Okay, and then it uh, might be a good idea to have some reverb on this. Uh, the RV7000 is always a good one to go to. Uh, just the dry wet. You don't want it to be you know, crazy, crazy wet because you can't hear what the hell you're doing. So maybe like 12 or 15 or something like that. Uh, just click this little arrow here uh, to open up these options down here. Go to the EQ. Um, lower this, this uh, the low gain here. Uh, so this way the reverb um, affects only the higher frequencies and then bump this one all the way up so you have a nice nice shape here. Um, all right, that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, have fun with it. Go ahead and you, know, you can change around things like uh, this, this wave shape. really cool effect um, and you can automate this you know just right click and uh, edit automation and then on your on your board down here you can play around with that you see the more you change this the further away from zero the more uh, intense the sound gets So just to show you some of the possibilities um, of that laser synth, um, or, or you know, synths using the same tools as the tools that I just showed you, I wanted to play a short clip of uh, my track Shotgun. Um, so just give it a listen and see what uh, you can do with this thing. Oh, my God. 
Hope you guys liked it. Again, this is Cerismo. Check out my music if you're interested. Uh, SoundCloud.com slash Cerismo. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you like this video, give me that thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.